Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with native access not working. Now if you have been trying to get into native access and you've been trying like all the stops and everything that doesn't work you know from downloading and installing and reinstalling. Now this is the way I found that works for me because I had a problem and this is how I fixed it. Now this is how you fix the native access problem. You want to go into your applications and features. Gonna scroll all the way down to set an application and features. You want to go all the way down to set native instruments and you want to uninstall native instruments. That's uninstall it. After uninstall it, you want to come into you know your main drive, your C drive that's on your laptop or your desktop. You go down to there, come to program files. You find the name instrument folder, you click on it. You come to the name instrument folder, right click on it, then you just delete it. And once you delete the native instrument folder, you go to the native instrument website. You click on Mac or Windows, whatever software it is on, download native asset. Click on the download tab, show the folder. And here's native assets right here. On the extract it. Now come on up here and double click on native asset. From here, this kit next, you know, the basic setup. And now when you click on native access, it should open up and run perfectly now. And you can see now you can hit the update button and now it will update itself. And that's the method that worked for me, like going through uninstalling and deleting the root folder of the new instrument, then reinstalling the brand new update. Because for some reason, it was just doing nothing more than basically reinstalling the same file because the folder was still there. So when you delete the folder from the root folder, go in there and delete it, and then reinstall it, it will update itself better. Then all you have to do is re sign into it. Now we got access back in native instruments and you see we got you know we got from software non install like you said we got 14 non install and look there we go there we go 25 and it looks like you know so we just go ahead and now and install 25 by clicking on the install button See now it's installed successfully. We now have 25 installed on the computer and we also have native access updated. Okay, now I see we have you know 25 is now ready. So now you can go into now you go into native access. Now you come down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install. Access now you come down all access now you come down here and click install now here and click install access now you come down all now 
down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install. Now here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install access. Now you come down here and click install now here and click install access. Now you come down now here and click install access now you come down now you go into native app access now you come down now you go into native app here and click install access now you come down now you go into native app access. now that is installed Testing, testing. Now that it's installed, you come right here to install. You come here to install products. And there, now you have it. You come down, you go to the website, you come down to native assets, and you read down native assets again. You download it, then you reinstall it. So what I come to figure out the problem why it's not working is because that folder that's in there, the native assets folder, even though you uninstall it or you download it, it doesn't overwrite the original native instrument file that's there. The original native assets that's there, it doesn't get overwritten. So you have to really delete that native assets folder when you go into your folder native instruments you go to native assets that delete the assets folder itself then download it then reinstall it and once you reinstall it it opens up and then it worked because i tried all the other methods that they talked about it doesn't work it didn't work for me so what i just did was just delete the native asset folder after you uninstall it so just probably uninstall it or you probably do the default but I just say on C side just go ahead and uninstall it then go into your main hard drive your C drive go into native instrument folder find native assets delete it and download a brand new program a brand new native asset from the website where you're on Mac or Windows download a brand new one directly from the website then install it and then it works because that's how I got mine to work so if you can see for yourself in the video so thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Instead of the video, and anybody else who have a problem with native instrument assets, anybody, anybody else who's having a problem with native assets, please share this video so they can resolve their problems. So for me, this worked way better when I had my problems and it didn't work for me, but this worked for me. So share the video, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more.